Hi everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I will talk about one more video translation software. If you have not watched my previous video, please do so because in my previous video, I talked about different kind of video translation software. There's pro and cons to each of it. All the video translation AI tools right now, you have to pay some of them they offer free trial for a while or with some watermark and then we have also have the translate.video which is a lifetime deal for now if you manage to grab it in time if not then next time you'll be a monthly subscription and then we have the pay as you go kind of plan but today i'm going to talk about one tools that is free for now to do a video translation of course there is a limit to it and the tools that I'm going to talk about is this Fitnox AI so if you click on this website here we can do a video translation for free as of now you don't even have to create an account you don't even have to log in but if you want you can always log in and then it will give you some enhanced editing features so when you are at the website you can choose to log in and then you can just sign up for a account you can just log in with google but in this case i will just click on this free ai tools and then we are going to do a video tools over here and we are going to choose this ai video dubbing And from here, we can translate the video. Okay, I'm going to use back a video that I used for my previous example. And this will be the video that I'm going to use. Donald Trump left us the worst attack on our democracy since the Civil War. Okay, so this is the software that I'm going to use. So this is the video I'm going to use in this with Knox AI so we can simply drag it over here I choose this video because there's two speaker and I want to tell you that Vix Knox AI do not support multiple speaker they can only detect one speaker of course there's limitation to it so our original language is English and I want to translate it to Chinese so let me choose Chinese for this and subtitle and lip sync you can see that the duration has to be longer than 10 seconds and free usage is only limited to the first 4 minutes of the video so I'm not going to do any lip sync and subtitle we can actually easily generate from if you are using CapCut so I'm going to skip that I'm also Proofread, okay, we just leave it on and then we can choose that video now. And it will start to translate. And this is a very short video. It's just 29 seconds. And you will be done pretty fast. Let me pause it and I'll come back to it in a while. One thing we have to take note is that this Vix not AI, you can't choose the voice. So when we are translating these two, there's two speaker over here and it will always take the first speaker. I think the voice is pretty close. You can't choose a custom voice. That means you can't select voiceover for yourself. But I think the voice generator is pretty close to the original one but to the first speaker. Because it cannot detect multiple speaker. So there's one disadvantage of it so now the thing has been generated and we can always check the transcript over here if there's anything you can still amend it so once you amend you click save so that is one very important thing because sometimes when we translate a video we want to be able to edit the script because not all the script is correct all the script that they translate you are happy with it then you can just click dub video now 
And after it is done, the process is complete. If you have an account, you can log in and then you can further do things like subtitle. But one thing it can't do is that, is that it can't adjust the audio speed. Because when you're translating from one language to another, sometimes it will speak a little bit faster or a little bit slower. You can't do the audio speed adjustment with these tools. And that is one big disadvantage. And it doesn't have multiple speakers. That is another big disadvantage. But let's see the final result and you can check it out for yourself. Okay, so our video is done and you can further zoom in or you can edit. But once you edit, you have to lock in before you can edit. But even you edit, there's nothing much you can change. But you can add, add a subtitle. But I always prefer to add the subtitle in CapCut. So with that, I'm going to download. To download, you also have to lock in. Okay, so we are just listen to it. And the good thing about this is that there's no watermark. So let's listen to it. 唐纳德特朗普给我们留下了自南北战争以来对我们民主最严重的攻击。我们所做的是收拾唐纳德特朗普的烂摊子。我们在大流行方面做得非常出色。Do you see when Donald Trump is speaking, it's still a female voice because they can only clone the first speaker voice. 我们把一个经济和股市都高于疫情爆发前的国家交给了他们。没有人见过这样的事情。他是马克思主义者，大家都知道他是个马克思主义者。他的。And you can see that the speed of Donald Trump speaking is very fast. That is the part we cannot adjust the audio speed with this software, but with some other software we can. 父亲是马克思主义经济学教授。so that's it for this Vixnot AI. First, if you are doing uh, just one speaker translation, this is free to use. And provided you don't have to adjust the audio speed, because if you need to adjust the audio speed, then this software can't do it. The way that you can adjust the audio speed is if it is speaking too fast or too slow, what you can do is you can change the wording. That means if you are going from Chinese to English, you try to change the wording a little bit, either to make it longer, if it is speaking too slow, or make it shorter, if it is speaking too fast. So with that, I end the video here, and this is one of the free tools that you can use for video translation. And if you like the video, please subscribe and share, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you, and... Have a nice day.